Thanks for joining me on this, uh, well it was a rainy morning here in uh, the Adirondacks. The sun's out now. The sun was out earlier and I was like, oh cool, I'll go out and I can shoot a video this morning. And then uh, what happened was, it started pouring out. So uh, I had a heck of a time with the fire. Got a little fire going though. You guys seen that, right? So we got that. Oh yeah, well I was, I was down here last week, I didn't film any of it, but built myself a little fire reflector. It's not done yet, I gotta tie these up, you know, tie them together, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it higher. I might put uh, one or two more pieces of wood on this one and that one. I don't want to obstruct my view of the, uh, the crick, and right here this is... So, this is eye level. So I think if I wanted like one or two more, I think I'd be okay, right? But, uh, so anyways. Yeah, so I made... Well, I started a pot hanger. And the pot hanger is actually part of... Oops. One-handed. Um, I started a pot hanger. And the pot hanger is actually part of the Bush Class series. So I was like, oh shoot, you know what? I'm not going to finish it. Well, let's come around here. Basically, you just take a, a green stick, preferably, a tree, or stick, or branch, and just cut a flat and kind of thin. And you slide that up through here. If you don't have a fire reflector, just use a, uh, a Y stick. Now, and to make this, it's real simple. You put, uh, basically, take your knife, set it on there, you tap it in, you know, baton it with a piece of wood about halfway down, and then you do it this way, and it's gonna make an X, okay? You leave this portion of the X in place. All right, so after you have your X, like that, real simple, you just, there we go. You just go like this and you carve out these pieces right here. It's not hard to do. But, so then you're going to use these here, or actually where you hang off of this. You hang it off of here. Oh, make sure this is straight. Very important. And you can hang that off of there like that. And depending on how high you have everything set. Obviously, looks like I need some adjustments. Yeah, actually I'm going to put another adjustment way up here. Something like that. So let's do that real quick. Let's make another one of these little bird beaks. Now when you do this, just make sure you make your bird beak on the opposite side of the actual pot hook. This is the hook that you'd hang your pot from or to tie your rope to with a toggle. So we're going to go way down here. baton it, any stick will do with it, you know, isn't a piece of crap. So you just baton it, halfway through or so maybe. It's not in this, you know. And that. That's plenty. Alright, and real simple. carving this out see it it breaks right you know when you go to carve it it's gonna go right where you left made those X marks see do you see yeah now you see and you just carve that deeper then make sure you undercut make sure you undercut that top part of the X, that top triangle, so it's like a bird beak. Super simple. Alright, and 
to undercut it. So just go in here, just carve out a little notch. I'm actually, I'm actually going to cut this off with a good old Swiss Army knife because honestly I have no use for this one way up here so I'll cut it off right about here. Then I always like to pretty much everything I, if it's going to be something I keep for a little while, I always chamfer the ends. It makes it so the wood's less likely to split later on. And it gives it a more finished look too. Yeah. So you got it down here too. And you've done that too. Do Check it. There you go. So you got your pot hook you've got high moving up the stick you've got low and then all the way up here at the top of the stick we're gonna have super low and this is how it works sits on there mm. like that now you're gonna put your hook on here pot and it's gonna draw it down like that. I've put rocks or something on the back of the on the back of this, something to hold it down. I might drive it into the ground. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's that. And then we're gonna make the toggle for this. If you notice this has a natural little bend in it, did that on purpose. For this, I'm, to make the notch in this, you can do it with a knife just fine, but I'm going to use the wood saw. And while well, we got the Swiss Army knife out, widen out, these, widen out this notch, see, this little notch all the way around. We can clean it up, widen it out. There's one side done. Only takes a second to go around it. There. And I need a little hanger. But the hanger is not going to be complete without a piece of rope to hang it, right? So. Put this. And for this, I'm just going to do a figure eight on a bite. that you got your figure eight you do a slip down any kind of knot will work doesn't really matter well pretty much any kind of knot even a hitch but now this will burn up i use this to start my fire right so we know this will burn up real quick all right no good so wrap around it and come through and we're just going to daisy chain it because it 
daisy chaining is super easy and quick. And this pot hook doesn't need to be that long for what we're doing here. It braids up really quick. There, in fact, that's long enough right there for what we're doing. So now, finish this off with a loop. A lot of excess here. We just finished it off with an overhand knot. It's basically a jam knot. We'll cut even more excess off now. Bam! There, now that doesn't pull through. This is plenty strong enough to hold the pot over the fire. Okay, so we got this made. Pot hanger, right? You'll see how it works in a minute if you don't already know. We've got our fire. Our fire's burned down to basically just coals, which is perfect. Because the next thing we're going to do, since we got a pot hanger built, see? We might not even have to use this, actually. Now your pot hangs on there like this. It's actually better. This is nice when you have a tripod. With the setup I have, I might not even use this. But I just wanted to make this to kind of complete the whole the whole hanger. Because that the hanger is actually part of the bush class series. So that was my uh, for my lesson on that that I have to put in. And Next, since we got the fire going, we're gonna make bannock. That's part of the bush class series. You know, you gotta be able to cook bannock. Bannock is good stuff. A cup of flour, a tablespoon of Crisco, a tablespoon of honey, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So you mix this up till it's all mixed up. Your dry, these are those are your dry ingredients. Then we're gonna have to add uh, like a quarter of a cup of water, maybe give or take, until we get something that's kind of the, it should be like the consistency of like play-doh. And then once you have it, have the play-doh bannock made, wrap it around the stick, prop the stick up over by the fire, it cooks. starting to get kind of clumpy. Your dry ingredients, if you're adding honey and Crisco and all that to it, it'll, it'll start resembling something a little bit clumpy. Like clump, like clumpy, lumpy flour. So, let's go get some water. Add the water in a little bit at a time. You can always add more water, but it's awful tough to get the water out once you've already added it. So I added maybe a quarter of a cup there. You want like basically just barely enough water to make the stuff hold together. Open it up. 
The trick is mixing it really, really thoroughly. You know, plastic bag, you know, it makes a good mixing device. When you're out on the trail, out hiking, camping, whatever, plastic bags are perfect for mixing in. Or else perfect for something else I'll show you too in a minute. I gotta show you right now. I got strawberry jam. Bam. There. And it makes a cut the corner off. Makes a perfect little squeezable tube. Alright, and to form the bannock onto the stick, let's see. I don't have a rolling pin. I don't have anything to roll on canoe or anything, so. So, it's knead the dough, like we would pizza dough. A little too crumbly for to really need like a pizza dough. But then there you go. Take your steak. Try to try to get it kind of even. Thick parts won't cook as thoroughly. So basically, when you make the bannock into a dough, just knead it around the well, put it around the stick. Try to smooth it out. With, well, try to make sure the thickness is roughly the same all the way around, so that way it's uh, you don't have any doughy spots. And this is actually almost done. Got a little smoke right here. I'm a little singed up here. And typically, the way you the way you, the best way to do this is let this burn right down to coals and then put it on you see this right here I have a oh, just a little Y stick right here to hold it you know, and that might actually oh, might work. right there yeah that'll cook right there just fine now And I got some water going right here because I'm going to make some pine needle tea. I'm gonna, I got some more wintergreen in it. Break it all up. Maybe break it up, it releases the oils in both of these. It goes in like that. It goes in like that. making sure everything's all down in there. And the bannock is almost done. It's actually came out better than I thought it was going to. Oops. I can feel it's a little doughy up in here still. But that's because this end here was kind of been facing the flames. Gonna slide the bannock back and let that cool off a little bit just a little bit we want it to still be hot right when we when we eat it but I don't want it to burn my hands when I take it off the steak and when you cook bannock on a stick I, honestly it is very important that when you 
say that you're cooking it on a stick, you have to say it like Jose Jalapeno, and you need to cook it on a stick. So I'm going to let it cool off on its stick before I take it and fill it with jam. Got the bannock, it slides right off the stick. This little cavity right there, right? Take it, trusty knife. Like I said, this makes a perfect little squeeze, squeeze tube. All right, now you just take it, squeeze it on in there. Try to get it, get it actually in there. It's not bad. The honey. Gives it a pretty good flavor. And the jam. Tell you what. We have a winner here. This is tasty. It's tasty. I'm freaking starving. It's nice. A little squeeze pouch right here. Do you take a bite? You squeeze some on. Take a bite, squeeze them on. Oh, hold up. Winter green pine needle tea. It's still hot. Ain't bad though. So, I'd say this is a winner. Definitely a winner. Oops. I have to keep moving my camera. Because it's still raining and I don't have a cover for it. If any of you guys know of a decent cover, I, mean, I know they make the little umbrellas. Or maybe a bag over it would work. But dodging raindrops with your camera sucks. It's buying new cameras sucks. So anyways, if you liked uh, the video, give it a thumbs up. Mm. Winter green leaf. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I'm like, I'm like 109 or 110 subscribers now. That's cool. Um, I don't know. I do a bunch of this crap. So if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. And uh, check out Bushcraft USA. The bannock, the pot hook, and I also, while I was down here, I think I'm going to put it in a different video. I made a, uh, a knife, le uh, knife lanyard. I already got it put away. I'm not going to get it out now because it's raining. But if you like that stuff, those are all uh, lessons on Bushcraft USA. In their forums, you go to the Bush class, and uh, there's just there are different certifications just to... Just bragging rights to show that you know how to do stuff. That you actually have some outdoor skills. And uh, you'll learn stuff. You'll teach people stuff maybe. And uh, all in all, they're just a good group of guys and gals. So head on over there. Check that out. Like I said, the bannock was part of one of the lessons. You know, making this. Um, my pot hook, pot hanger. That was all part of it. And uh, yeah, the, the knife lanyard. And I've got a ton of videos. If, if you like, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, check out the, check out my. I think I have a bush class playlist. Check that out. And uh, oh, I didn't move my camera. It's not raining. Again. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Have some fun out in the woods. Can I tell you again how tasty this is. Can I tell you again how hungry I was. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, have a good one. Get outside, have fun. Even if it's raining, it ain't that bad. You're not made of sugar, you won't melt. Have fun, guys. Bye.